So today in this video, I want to start it a little bit of a different way. Now, you guys know if you've watched my channel, cooking videos were a big part of what I've done here on YouTube. They still are, I guess. So what I'm going to try to do today is put a recipe video or at least share a recipe with you guys inside of a vlog. So it kind of kills two birds with one stone. I'm not sure what to call it. A cooking vlog, maybe a clog. I don't know, I'll come up with some name. And I would like to establish some sort of schedule. Maybe share one recipe with you guys a week. I just got back from Walmart, I got some stuff. Let's go ahead and get started. So what we've got here, peanut butter and chicken. Do these two things really go together? No, but if you ever had like at an oriental restaurant, I think it might be Vietnamese, I'm not sure, peanut sauce on chicken or if you ever dip spring rolls in it, very, very good. So why not make a spicy peanut butter chicken, don't knock it till you try it because this is really good. Lunch just like that. So check this out. I've got the peanut butter chicken up here. I put some more sriracha sauce, three servings of rice, and then off to the side, I have some spinach and kale that I steamed up. But check that out, guys. Peanut butter chicken. Can you believe it? This doesn't taste like just taking grilled chicken and rubbing peanut butter on the top of it and then eating it. That probably wouldn't be that good. This tastes totally different. It's just got a hint of peanut butter. I used crunchy peanut butter today, so it's got the crunch. I can taste the soy sauce, all the seasonings that we added. So two thumbs up for this recipe. And let me know down below in the comments if you liked this segment in the vlog. I hate doing dishes. Not gonna do it right now. Sometimes I just, I get stuff and I, and I have no idea what it is. Ah, okay. Yep, I know what it is. That was fast. So most days, I'm wearing Ape Athletics, but I got a bunch of my protein clothing in. I like that. Got a blue. Nice little interruption sponsored by my protein. And now we're off. So today is a very, very exciting day. Do you guys remember the video where I was bidding on drones on eBay and I lost tragically? Well, I'm gonna go buy one today. I got it, I am so excited. I got the DJI Phantom 3, and it's actually not called the drone. It's called a quadcopter, but it's time to open this up. Woo. Here it is. This is it. This little guy is gonna fly really high into the sky. That rhymes. Now, am I going to fly it in this video? Probably not, so you guys better watch the next one because it's almost dark out right now and the batteries have to charge. But I at least wanted to open this up on camera today, right? One of the reasons why I'm so fascinated by, by quadcopters or drones or whatever is because it's a totally different perspective than, than what we see. So we're at this level, airplanes and helicopters are way up here, but the drone is just like this medium ground that only birds see, pretty much, or something else that I'm not thinking about. And it's really interesting to me, honestly. So I'm hoping this is the start of a new hobby, and I hope it makes for more entertaining videos because this takes incredible footage. So stay tuned. Going for a quick dinner to Olive Garden before max effort upper today. Excuse me, do I know you? Excuse me. Who are you?
So let's talk about tonight's workout. 12 sets of close grip bench press for four reps each. One thing that I've noticed on, on the conjugate program, and this might be something for you to think about. Obviously bench press, you use a lot of your triceps, right? It's the biggest part of your arm. It's going to give you more pressing power. And since I've been doing more and more close grip, more sets of bench press, a lot of tricep work, I've noticed that my lockout is much stronger just in these three weeks of doing the program. And honestly, I can't tell if it's like placebo or what, but my triceps are feeling bigger and bigger as, as the weeks go on. That's, that's great, right? I'm eating at a surplus, I'm training hard, I am going to be progressing from week to week, and that's really what gaining muscle comes down to, right? Train in a surplus of calories, focus on progressive overload, and do your compound movements. Those are like the three most important things. You don't really need a trainer when you just do those three things because I think I'm a good example of, of what results you can get by just doing that, right? So after our 12 sets of four reps on the close grip, moved on to one set, as many reps as possible on the bench press. And when you go from a close grip, so I usually grip just probably outside of my shoulders, like a thumb's length away from the smooth part on the barbell, to the wide grip, it feels so awkward. It really does, it's crazy to think like, Wow, I usually bench with my hands this far apart, but yes, I do, that's how I do it. But just moving from close to wide, it feels way, way different. And moving on with the workout, if you guys haven't noticed, every single time I'm in here, I follow the conjugate program exactly for the compound movement, so upper or lower, bench press, deadlift, or squats, and then after I do those numbers, I will kind of deviate from it a little bit and do some more hypertrophy stuff. So I've asked Simon, he says that's fine, as long as it's not hindering my next workout, and there hasn't been a workout so far where I haven't been able to, to hit my percentages and my numbers. So until I do, and, and I get to a workout where I'm not able to do it, then I will change up what I'm doing. But for now, this is awesome. This is like the perfect program for me. It has my good combination of, of power lifting and strength, but also hypertrophy, which I've talked about here on the channel before. It's important for me to keep that up. And just looking at that right there, I don't think I've lost much, anything. I'm, I'm actually continuing to, to gain weight and, and gain muscle, which, which is great. So the remainder of the workout, simple stuff you guys have seen before. You guys saw some incline dumbbell presses, some tricep extensions, some, some face pulls, and then finished off with some cable flies. A short but sweet workout here in the gym. I'm gonna head home and mess around with the drone some more. So let's see if it will power on now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Check out all the little flashing things on it. Got some red, green, the camera's moving around. First flight tomorrow, it's supposed to be windy so I'm not sure how high we're gonna take it, but we're gonna power this thing up. So that will be next video. Be sure to watch out for that. Give the video a like if you enjoyed. I am off to drink these, and I will see you guys tomorrow.